welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to draw a cross section of any surface um, on AutoCAD Civil 3D without using any extra software or extra plugins. A cross section is basically a perpendicular or a vertical view of any surface. It could be a road surface or any surface you design it in AutoCAD. So let's go ahead and do it. Now to, to create a cross section you need an alignment, you need a surface and you need something called sample lines. Okay. So I've already made videos on these these um these things, how to create an alignment and how to create a surface and the rest. So if you want to um if you want to do it you 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 can go back and look at how I did it. Okay. I'm just going to fast forward and um we would continue with 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 it. Okay, so now I have my alignment and I have my um, my surface. So as you can see, my surface is here, and I have an alignment over here called main road. Um, it's a center line, so called main road. Okay, so now what we are going to do? I'm going to close this one. We are going to create sample lines. Okay, so in order to create sample lines, what you're going to do is you're going to um, come here or is it here and then they will ask you to click on your alignment now if you can't locate your alignment to click you can just right click or press enter and you see the names of the, the available alignments you just select on it and then you get this pop up so I'm going to label this sample lines for cross sections because I'm going to use them for cross sectional purposes okay and I would um, I'll maintain these default parameters and then click OK. So now over here, what I'm going to do is I've disabled the labels from alignment, so you wouldn't notice. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to so they are going to ask you to specify the location of the of your sample lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it to label my sample lines according to stations. These points have been picked at an interval of um, 25 meters. So I could specify that. And my road is not so wide. It's about um, about seven meters um, width. So um, the left is about three point five. The right is about three point five. So I'm just going to input those parameters here. But if you know that your surface extends beyond the road, then you can make your cross section wider, depending on the available um, space you have. All right. So I want it to be at 25 25 okay i already have it here yours might be at 20 you can change it to 25 depending on the distance and um the left side and um, the left side i want to change it to 3.5 i think i will just maintain it at 5 and maintain this one also at 5 even though i know it's 3.5 3.5 which means there'll be a little gap when i'm done okay so i'm going to press enter and then you see that it will plot these blue lines, these are the sample lines. It will plot them along my 25 meter um, points. Okay, so now we have our sample lines ready. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead to create the cross section. Now, you could create either a single cross section or a multiple cross section. Let's start with a simple cross section. So, in order to do that, you come to the sectional views actually. Then you start with let's start with a simple one or a single one. Now over here you have the chance to change um, change the parameters regarding it. I'm going to do a cross section for let's say 75, change it to 75. I'm going to maintain the the default parameters here, and you might have noticed this is giving you the sample lines as well as the alignment. So if you had different sample lines and alignments, you could change them. Okay, so I'm maintaining these ones, and I would just click on my origin here and then to create them for me okay so over here you have your um, 
elevations and then you have your offsets here you could whenever you want to edit it you just have to select the the, the drawing and then you can come to the section view properties and then you can change the styles as you would like okay so you could add or remove some of them depending on what you want to have okay so you could add or remove depending on what you want to have now these are sticker points you can actually um, re remove them or you could make them so I'll show you how to handle them at the end of the video so I'm just going to show you how to create the multiple um, sectional views so over here is the nature of your surface okay my road width is very small and the road is fairly flat so you wouldn't notice any difference all right so let's create the multiple um, cross sections so I'm going to press escape then I'll have the free space now I'm coming here to create for multiple views okay so it's going to ask me to change the parameters I want to change here but I'm going to maintain all these parameters I think I'm okay with them yeah yeah I prefer to draw then later I'll edit so I'm going to click on an original point here then the rest would come okay so as you can see you have your multiple cross sections here okay yeah so whenever you want to edit it you just have to select on them then you have the chance to edit them as a group or as an individual okay so um, I'm just going back to this one to show you what you can do about this one this the um, these are points I will just make them come out it's indicating the elevations of your start your middle and your end points I'll just make them come out here so I'm going to select the drawing and I'm going to the properties okay so when I go to the section view properties what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift a little here and I'm going to add um, for my labels I will add a sticker so I'm going to shift a little I'll add a sticker to my labels both sides okay and then I'll just do for this one also sticker for both sides then when I press on enter it's going to shift them outside so that when you're out there you can actually see the offsets the elevations as well as the um, yeah the elevations of the surface okay what one other thing you could do also is to um, edit your axis I think I've already shown you um, how to edit your displays okay so you could actually annotate them so if I click and I press add you see that it can annotate them but I'm going to disable most of them just trying to show you some of the things you can um, make so indicate um, I think I have left my no okay all the important ones I need are available one other thing I want to show you before I end this video is you can actually change the um, appearance of the horizontal and the vertical axis for instance the horizontal axis is an interval of 10 and the, the minor ones are at an interval of 5 so yeah you, you could do that you could also change it to like this and apply and you see that it would indicate all, all those ones here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this one to back to um, um I think I, I can make it one then I make this one five that's in case you want to show details okay so you could do that and then you can label them so you can just play around this and then I'm sure you get whatever you want all right so um, in this video I hope you understand how to create um, cross sections now single and multiple cross sectional views remember you need your alignment you need the surface then your sample lines then the rest you have to do is just to create um, your views the views you need for your, um, your cross sections okay so if you have any question you can leave your questions at um, the comment sections and um, if you have a suggestion I would like to hear from you also otherwise if you are new to my channel I would like you to subscribe to it and leave a thumbs up to my video if you enjoy it alright I'll see you
next time bye